Thank you for joining us for Local 4 News at noon. These dam failures top our newscast. A state of emergency has been declared for Midland County after the two dams failed. The Edenville Dam broke free and the Sanford Dam breached but did not break late last night, forcing about 10,000 people to pick up and have to leave their homes in a moment's notice. As we take a look now, a video from Beaverton. This is where the Edenville Dam is located and Sanford where the Sanford Dam is located and the impact of all of this water rushing into these towns has been devastating. Of course, this just coming at the worst possible time for people in the middle of a pandemic, the devastating flooding complicated by the coronavirus. We have our team coverage for you this afternoon. Brandon Rue, of course, our meteorologist standing by with a look at if the weather conditions are going to help or hurt those impacted in the days ahead. And also our Tim Pamplin is live in Sanford, which is almost completely submerged underwater and also feeling the impact besides Sanford is a town of Beaver and downtown Midland. Nick Monticelli is live there as this unprecedented flooding is leaving a mark. And Nick, we were with you in the morning and watching those water levels. Have you watched them increase since about the 4 and 5 a.m. hour? Yeah, we certainly have, which is frustrating for the residents here in Midland. There's kind of two factions here. There are those who have seen their homes and all of their property destroyed by these waters. Then there are those who are waiting to see how much worse it's going to get. I want to step out of the way because I want to show you. We were talking about the pavilion to that farmer's market. You can see the water has risen. At that point, we're talking about 8 or 10 feet of water. And again, now people are wondering how much worse could this get? It's crazy, just surreal. Oh, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Many Midland residents had a hard time sleeping last night. Some pacing the flood water lines, wondering if their homes will be safe. How nervous are you? Very. I have six children in my home, so I'm very nervous. It's like a scary movie, really. I mean, I've got kids and a wife. When the Edenville Dam failed and the Sanford Dam was breached, water began raging, taking out bridges, houses, businesses, and more. Some are waiting to see how bad it will get. Others are already there, losing their homes to Mother Nature. Yeah, it's pretty bad. There are a lot of people that are without houses right now. So uh, friends that live up the river that uh, have lost their cabins and stuff on the lakes. And, yeah, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> Some say this is a flashback to horrible flooding in 2017 and the historic flooding in 1986. But they also add this already seems worse. We we just did this. We just did this and I don't know if I don't I don't I don't know how fast we can bounce back this time. And I will add to that a gentleman just came up to me and said he was about 30 years old during the flood of 1986 and confirmed this is worse than that was. So this was a chain reaction. Obviously, a lot of areas impacted by this, of course, the Edenville area and the Sanford area as well. We are being told, and this is just coming into our newsrooms, that the governor, Governor Whitmer, is going to be giving an update on this state of emergency. She is in mid-Michigan and will be talking to us live at about 1245 this afternoon. So stay tuned to see what updates and what federal aid we can uh, expect. We're hearing some military and federal partners are already on the ground in this area. We're live here in Midland. Nick Monticelli, Local 4.